Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Hyrule Warriors Adventure Map. So, in the last episode, I announced that I've been sick for a while, and that the last time I was well when I tried recording, uh, things messed up and I lost two episodes worth of footage. So, in this episode, we're going in here and we're gonna kick the crap to defeat enemies while collecting treasure. Wait. Really? So, the way I'm gonna do this, guys, is instead of doing the obvious, though, I'm gonna go in with Durinia. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna do... This seems like a fun one. I'm going in this link. The reason I'm doing this is because honestly, it says have fun. I'm going to have fun. Uh, this is a 50-50 whether I want to do these. I'm gonna, eventually I will unlock the Master Sword skill, but I'll do that completely off screen. So I'll use something I really want to use. You know which one. I really want to eliminate the strength skills on this and the light skill and add in some better skills on here because you know seven slots but I'll do that once I have a lot more money for now I'm just gonna be doing this hey there guys so what by collecting treasure doesn't mean that gives a lot of rupees, because if so, this might be a good way to grind rupees. I would just have to put on the rupees up potion and do that. Wow, this is a lot of things going on. Item transporters? There you go, got the mountain keep. Hey there, item transporter. Speaking of you guys. Oh, it drops. Okay, so they drop weapons and uh, materials. Wait, really? You guys are being overwhelmed already? I mean, I understand that there are actually some good enemies here, but still. Uh, I'll be right back, man. I'll uh, fight you in a bit. Apparently some guys need my help down here, and you know, I'm not just going to completely abandon them. Yeah, I'm here already, dude. Are they? Are they seriously standing outside the enemy base and wondering why they're losing? The enemy forces are infinitely spawning there. Yeah, I get that it's closed and I need the uh, big key to open it. Or to do something, I'm not really sure which. Alright, kick by horse and die. Run up to you and blow you both up. Oh, well, did not die, but I must have blocked it. Ow. That hurts. Wait, really? All right, raid captains. I heard that you guys were uh, in my base over here, and I'm not really approving that. And just like that, you're dead. Interesting how that works, right? Dancing towards the allied base next. This is actually pretty hectic, but fun. This is weird. Like, there is throwing like everything at you at once, but you don't feel stressed at this point, or at least I'm not feeling stressed because I brought Link. This is just fun. I'm glad I took this seriously and uh, brought in someone who I would just enjoy the situation with. 
Are both enemy commanders rushing towards my base? I'm gonna go greet this one down here. Enemy commander, Girahim, what's up? What's up, you salty some? Um. <laughs> Come on. Boom. Okay, Girahim. Blow you up. Girahim, I will uh, blow you up. And also, Girahim, I will blow you up. Now I'm gonna come back here and grab this stuff. I'm fine with that. There we go. Enemy forces dead. Are you seriously? And there's a chest hidden in a keep somewhere. Ooh, time to start checking every single keep. I haven't got, even got 1,200 uh, kills yet. I'd probably do that. This is definitely where one of the things is going to be. I mean, they can't just have the fairy fountain open and for there to be no point to it. There we go. Just like that. Oh, this must be... Wait, what the... Was this a trap? Did they try trapping me in here? Oh wow, that was creative. Oh wow, that's creative. I love it. And now that they're all deaded, I can head over to the enemy base and be like, yeah. Yeah. Well, should I? They're kind of taking... Hmm, fine. They took it already, so I'll have to take it back in a minute. Come on. Well, time to go get a gold skull tour. Head all the way up here. Because let's be honest, we already know where it's going to be. Alright, gold skull tour. I'm going to have to make an entire episode eventually based on all the gold skull tours that I'm not able to get because I wasn't doing the missions correctly. Because I know there was another gold skull tour in here and... Let's guess I had to kill 1,200 enemies before the start of the first mission. Complete the first mission, defeat 1,200 enemies without taking four or more hearts of damage. Well, I can try to get the 1,200 kills, and I know I haven't taken four hearts of damage. Or at least I don't believe I have. Alright. I'm almost level 77. Oh, hey, there's a gold one that he dropped. Nice. Hey. Hey, raid captain. Boom. Kill the two raid captains with that. I see heck. I'm not even going to head up here yet. I have a few uh, keeps over here I haven't even been in, let alone taken over at this point. So, let's head all the way around here, and let's see what kind of keeps I can get. Nope. Did not get it, guys. So you have to get 1,200 kills before you complete the first mission, which is dumb in my opinion. 
that means I literally have to just not do the mission and have to go out of my way to kill a bunch of enemies that, honestly, I'm going to be killing anyway. And it doesn't even say that you have to do it before you did it. Uh, I'm gonna look it up. This is something I'll look up after this and I'll see why it's not working and if I really need to kill 1200 before the freaking first mission is over. Alright, found where the other box is. I'm gonna have to remember where these uh, two are. Got a bunch of rupees out of it. Uh, let's see. I'm already full on everything. I could take the enemy keep. I mean, I never did this, right? I think I get distracted with, with the fact that they're attacking this stuff. spawn in one place. If you all spawn in one thing, I can just kill you all at once. Boom. Got the enemy base. In just a minute, I can, uh, take this well, not take this, but eliminate any enemies from here. When they showed the big splotches, I was imagining more like an entire force. This is a few enemies. I'm out of here. There. West Rock Face keeps about to be uh, taken over by the enemy. Meh, I can kill them. Once again, time to kill them. Hey, hey, Raid Captain. Wow, you brought in a whole freaking force. That was smart of you. If it was anyone else, because I can kill your entire force in one go. I mean, it was smart for them to try to overwhelm us, but, you know, I can, uh, I can kill them all that easily. Yeah. Hey, Raid Captain. Alright. Ice Big Poe, blow you up. Cut your tiny little shreds. Whoop your elk and post captain with you. Bye. Heading back into your thing. So I can drop this. And use it on you. Oh, no. I missed you. Alright. Well, time to kill all of your uh, forces. Finished it with that. Dang it, only got a normal one. Did not even get a silver. Disappointing. Did not get an A rank, or if I did, not, did get an A rank, it didn't even give me something for it. I did get an A rank, but I don't get anything for it. Alright. Girahim's Cape. Icy Big Pose Talisman. Stall Master Skull. A bunch of Essence of Icy Big Pose. Shield Mob One Helmet. Old Rags. 
and metal plates. And since I got a gold skull claw, I get another piece of Durinia's face. I can now battle his Girahim. Demon Tribe Sword, sword created by the Demon Tribe in the distant past. Alright, since I will be kind of summing that out of me just running around doing nothing, um, I can head into either of these places. I think we'll be heading into here. We'll start off with Girahim next episode, I think? Actually, yeah. I'll get a compass before then, or we'll do this mission or something. We'll figure it out. Because I want to figure out what a rank 3 link item would be. Defeat all giant bosses within the time limit. Um. What even? I'm confused. I'm very confused. Uh. Guys, I kind of want to just disappear for a moment and do a thing. Alright, give me a minute, guys. I'm gonna grab this uh, thing. I'll be right back. Alright, guys, we figured out where it is. We're playing as Princess Ruto on this one. Defeat 700 enemies in 10 minutes. I think we can do it. I need to actually upgrade Ruto though, so you're going to have to give me just a minute. Alright, we're finally here. So this is going to be very simple, 10 minute like time and just kill all the enemies. Alright, did not quite finish that Dynolphos off. Kind of sad, but fine. We have the uh, elemental advantage. Alright, I already defeated 100 in less than a minute. Let's hope it's going to be that easy the entire time. I doubt it. They're more than likely going to start summoning every freaking elemental, not elemental, uh, giant boss in the entire game. They do that a lot. Just mess with me. Alright, actually I'm going to grab this. As you can see, I've used uh, the Ruby Festival uh, water thing. Water thing? Potion. As you can see, all of the freaking rupees are freaking silver and gold because I used the Ruby Festival apothecary item. Defeated Dinolphos. And now heading up here. I believe that's a giant boss down there on the screen. The one that's like a skull and crossbone. Well, it's just a skull, actually. Alright, let's suck Lana into this. I don't plan to actually beat Lana, I just plan on hitting her a little bit. Because as you can see not really cool. Actually, I might be able to beat her. Eh, whatever. Come on. No, I'm not going to bother wasting my time. I need to focus. That's what they get you with. Oh, you should fight all the bosses you throw at you. This would be a very good way to do things. Uh, eat it. They always throw the large enemies at you to distract you. Wow. I just wasted that. Oh well. Um, 
Impas down here. Like their fire thing and everything. Magic transport jars. Man, they're twisting. Oh, great. Manhandle it. Alright, get past him. He almost hit me with that, actually. And that would have decimated my health. get up here and then use my wave thing. Alright. I, I didn't get there in time. Ah, come on. Would have been great if I was able to kill another Dinolphos. Because I really need the levels. Oh, Link, no! On. Almost there. Alright, just 200 more, but I need to find 200 more is the problem. Man, this sucks. Um, suck these guys all in. Um, oh, okay, I was using a skill and he popped up and he hit me in the skill. Be back. Alright, I'm about back to the point I was. I've not gotten the A-Rank since I've had to heal myself. Yeah. I'm not getting the A-Rank on this guy, so if you're expecting me to, well, I'm sorry. It's not gonna happen. It really freaking sucks. But, honestly, they're dicks. They're constant dicks, and they spawn things right next to you, and they hit you, and then you lose all of your health. For, for things like this, I would actually suggest you to make uh, Ruto overpowered, like get her really high level, and then do it, because honestly, it's just easy that way. You wouldn't have to deal with so much dickery. You'd actually be able to kill the things you wanted to as well. What the? What? Yeah, grab all of you. Up in there, up in there. I'll probably still win this, but all the same. And those oh, here as well. Great. See, just like that, she'll pop up. She'll be like, ah! I'm gonna punch you in the back of the head, and then you lose half your health. And then there's the boss over there who, anytime he shoots, you just lose all of your health. Freaking, you saw my first take. I got insta kill. I was full health, and then I was in a move, and then he shot me mid animation, and I died. It was during the middle of this. Alright, I need to get out of here because the giant bosses are just there to hunt you down. One skill that would be really good to actually get... It would be the, the versus beast skill or whatever. The one that gives you uh, higher damage against uh, giant bosses. Because then you'd be able to take them on, then you'd be able to win this pretty easily. But I don't have that for Uto, I only have that for Link. So, you know, it sucks to be me. Oh well. With that, we got a victory. It was not any rank though. It was not a rank at all. Let's just glitch her into the wall here. 
I'm not... <sighs> yeah. I got B in both clear time and damage taken. That sucks. With that... Next time on Let's Play Hyrule Warriors, we're going to play as Girahim for at least two missions next episode. Maybe even three. I'm not really sure. Um, we need to... Actually, at the beginning of the episode, I'll show off where this is. I'll show it in the uh, thing. What? Well, no, it's not even in the thing. So I'll grab this before the next episode, then I'll head into these two missions. So guys, see you then.